but they cross borders and they come here on borders you can identify whether they have come from across the border or they have how, how, within how, the border how you are talking by the of the road borders animals don't require roads to cross over uh, from one uh, region into another animal will uh, can come from any side any animal that uh, uh, crosses uh, from maharashtra into goa or from karnataka into goa becomes a goan animal how do you certify that that any particular animal is a goan animal or that is born and brought up in goa how do you certify so that's what that is the thing i am trying to tell you the point is that the facts have been misrepresented before the high court in goa we do not have enough number of animals for slaughter people rare animals for agricultural purposes in goa the last census of goa says that uh, there are some 125000 uh, cattle population in goa but by and large people do not rear animals for slaughtering purposes in goa so the all these years slaughtering has been done by getting animals from outside the state and there are rules to this effect there are laws to this effect so that is the reason why i am saying that there is an error in the judge, uh, in the uh, judgment passed by the honorable high court we are aggrieved with that judgment and hence i am time and again insisting and impressing that we are going on a review petition traders bring animals to your uh, better ata yes. te traders je hatta pe animals te bhaila city tlan hatta ka goycha hatta how you would certify ten sam sangta सर्टिफाई करूँ जाएना नो बट इफ यू किल दैट एनिमल यू आर हैविंग कंटेम्प्ट ऑफ कोर्ट ऑन यू तेका लागूनू सांग सांगता द कॉम्पिटेंट अथॉरिटी विल नॉट सर्टिफाई इफ दिस ऑर्डर इज नॉट मॉडिफाइड ही विल नॉट बी एबल टू सर्टिफाई बिकॉज़ इवन इफ आई टेक अ एनिमल दैट इज रियली बोर्न एंड ब्रॉट यू नो ब्रॉट अप इन गोवा फॉर स्लॉटर हाउ कैन इट बी प्रूव्ड दैट दैट एनिमल इज नॉट ब्रॉट फ्रॉम आउटसाइड द स्टेट हाउ सो देन यू आर सेइंग ऑन वन एंड साइड यू आर स्टार्टिंग विद स्लॉटरिंग second and side you are saying ki i don't know whether that animal is brought from outside the state you are afraid of court also what exactly are you going to do see now? when a high court passes an order or for that matter any competent court passes an order definitely we have to work in accordance with that order what i am saying is whatever animals are presented from tomorrow onwards for slaughtering purposes if if uh, the if uh, it is in accordance with the high court order we will send that animal for slaughtering once the competent authority clears it if not if not if the shortage still prevails we will import beef from other parts of india one more important issue you are playing in the hands of bjp and bjp wants beef shortage to be there in goa and that is why this is happening a shake allegation asa all parties are saying you are playing in the hands of manohar parega chief minister see i <laughs> strongly refute this allegation what can the honorable chief minister do when it, there is a high court order can can the government can the chief minister go against a high court order all that we can do is go back to the high court and request it to modify see people who are making such allegations or trying to give uh, uh, color to this on the basis of religion on the basis of caste i have got no other work these are frustrated elements they can't digest the fact that this government led by uh, mr manohar parikar is doing well that people of goa are happy they can't digest this fact so and they don't have issues to corner the government so they are coming up with such frivolous issues if if that is the case if that is the case where were they where were they all this while this issue is going on from 26 where were they were they sleeping they are asking me where i was to uh, file a review petition yeah you didn't interview into me review petition when i have not been served a notice can, how can i go and intervene even uh, now you are not served yes but but the high court order is already in force the final order of the high court is already in force so i have it is my duty to go to the high court and seek a review of the of its order i, I can't be sleeping but all that i am asking these people who are making such allegation where were they all this while where were they when uh, uh, illegal illegalities have happened in the past uh, at, at the uh, meat complex abattoir when their own people who, who were at the helm of fs have uh, without following codal formalities brought in people from outside india and leased out abattoirs where were but they but there was there was no beef shortage at that time 
see, there are two issues. One is of illegality, one is of beef shortage. You mean to say that uh, 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 earlier, whatever illegalities ha have been committed should be pardoned because there was enough uh, no, no, beef and beef, beef and more? No, shortage is there is because you are conducting illegalities in the meat complex. That's what court says and that's why there is a beef shortage. We are not conducting any illegalities. We are not conducting any illegalities. I am making this very clear. And that is the reason why we have got no, nobody to fear. When for the first time this Goraksha Manch came uh, to Goa Meat Complex, that time you never took things seriously. We have always been taking everything very seriously. And you should have pacified them there and there only and taken some measures some, to... Somebody, somebody who has got a, 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 a hidden agenda, how do you pacify him? You, I have to also start following his hidden agenda or their hidden agenda. Who's hidden agenda? Who's whoever agenda? you are talking about, whoever the, uh, some uh, munch or some NGO that you are talking about, you know, in their opinion, they feel that uh, there has to be a ban on uh, slaughtering of uh, cattle. There has to be a total uh, uh, ban on uh, availability of beef in there. That is their feeling. See, they are, we are in a democratic country. Everybody is free to express uh, his own, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, his own thought. But that doesn't mean that the government is bound to uh, accept all that uh, the uh, citizen thinks. But you also never try to pacify them. You met them, you ever met them or tried to pacify I them? I have, to be to be uh, very frank, till date I have not met any of these munch members. Till date I have not met. I have met the stakeholders of this industry. Why should I meet some, uh, some NGO? For what? What role an NGO has got to play in this uh, uh, running of the slaughtering house? If some NGO feels that there is an illegality happening, there is always a competent authority. There is a high-level committee appointed, headed by the Urban Development uh, Secretary, in which so many other secretaries of uh, government of Goa, uh, besides the HODs of so many other departments, are members of that committee. This committee has been appointed upon directives of the Honorable Supreme Court of India. If somebody has got uh, a grievance, let them go before, the, before that committee and complain. Why are they taking law into their own hands? Who has given them the freedom to take law into their hands? During this course of interview, you said there were illegalities committed by then Congress government. Ravi Naik was heading animal husbandry department that time. And what we hear in assembly is also that there were tenders floated. Correct. To lease out the abattoir. Correct. To a particular party, some Egyptian firm. That's right. Now you are in the chair. Yeah. Do you assure people that action will be taken? I have spoken of the same illegalities. I have not spoken of the illegalities vis-a-vis -vis the running of the abattoir. I have spoken of the illegalities wherein tenders were given without following any codal formalities. Agreed, but are you going to take action? The, the government is seized of the matter. The matter is already handed over to the anti-corruption cell. They are investigating. We are waiting for their report. So, what, what exactly is next for this uh, abattoir now? Because we, uh, besides this controversy, you have to understand one thing that abattoir is necessity for many people who are eating beef in the state. I fully appreciate and understand what you are saying. That is the reason why we, we are making every effort to ensure that the running of the abattoir is brought back to normalcy. One. Number two, even after doing so if shortage of beef still prevails in the state of goa the goa meat complex will step forward and import beef we are not into the business of importing beef but in the interest of the beef eating population of goa we will step forward and if required import beef from other states of india we will do everything that is possible within the available resources, within the available, uh, within the prevailing laws to and we will ensure that there is no shortage of beef in the state of Goa. No, the issue, another issue what I wanted to ask you is about 6 crores of rupees are spent by central government and also similar 6 matching grants are given by state government for this yes. abattoir. Yeah. Now how would you ensure you, first of all that there will be no corruption in the entire dealings? Forget One, uh, I, will come, I will come to the corruption part. but. 
दिस इज अ वेरी गुड पॉइंट विच यू हैव यू नो ब्रॉड फॉर्वर्ड यू हैव लिटिल वाइल एगो सेट डैट आई एम प्लेइंग इन द हैंड्स ऑफ द बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट आई एम प्लेइंग इन द और द राधर द बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट इज इंटरेस्टेड इन एंश्योरिंग दैट देर इज अ कंप्लीट ban or there is a total stoppage of the availability of these allegations be, 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 yes yes allegation you have you have mentioned that these allegation uh, if that is the case and if the bjp government or if the government led by mr manohar parikar was really interested in stopping the betwa in really ensuring that the the beef eating population of goa do not get beef and were interested in uh, propagating the the fundamentals of this so called ngos the irrational fundamentals of this so called ngos they would have not given a matching grant of 6 crores the government goa government has given as a matching grant of 6 crores 80 lakhs and the central government has sanctioned 6 crore 20 lakhs on the basis of this matching grant with the goa government has sanctioned to the goa meat complex now if the goa government wanted to suffocate the goa meat complex and suffocate the beef eating population of goa they would have not sanctioned this amount because the condition was only when the goa government sanctions this matching grant then only would the central government uh, release their money so, so this you... itself goes on to prove that the goa government is fair goa government is not interested in suffocating the beef eating population of goa the goa government is not interested in in uh, you know ensuring that the abattoir at the goa meat complex closes down okay you mean to say intentions are very good yes okay with this we end our interview we have with us lindon montero chairman of goa meat complex limited he is he is in midst of a controversy right now because of a current beef shortage that goa is facing he says that there are no illegalities happening at the abattoir which is there at utsgaon he also said that illegalities as far as tendering is concerns were done during oswal congress regime and they have handed over the case to anti corruption bureau and for our viewers he has also made an important statement that beef shortage will not last for more more days they are going to slaughter the animals uh, as per high court directives and within ambit of high court directives and if there is a shortage they will try to import the beef from neighboring states With this, we end our interview. You are watching Counterpoint, your own interview series that comes on your own channel, Prudent, at 7:30 and 9:30 on Monday. Keep watching Prudent.